let's do this. Uh, Jeremy can't take me. <laughs> How's everybody feeling, good? I like that, that's good, that's good. I like traveling. Uh, tell you some stuff about myself. I just got back from Israel. Uh, only nobody is excited for that. All right, that's cool. <laughs> Just got back from Israel, and uh, I got to be, you know, I got to be honest. I got to keep it real. I was, ex I was excited to go to Israel, you know what I'm saying? Because never in my life would I believe that I'd be going to Israel, and neither could security at the airport. Uh, <laughs> it was tough. I was like, what is this, Canada? Jeez. And I like Israel. Israel's a beautiful country. If you ever get a chance, go there. Uh, I like Jewish people because they name their holidays after black women. Like Rosh Hashanah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, y'all, don't leave me hanging. I done slept with three Rosh Hashanahs, four Hanukkahs. <laughs> Best part about going to Israel uh, is that the, they got prisons, you know what I'm saying? And the prisons are packed, and there's no black people in them. <laughs> that shit is amazing to be in a country and your race is not responsible for the crime rate. <laughs> like, I was walking around cocky as shit. I was like, yeah, at any minute now, I could get robbed by one of these Jews. <laughs> <laughs> and this feels good, I like these kind of problems, yes. Like, I could move to a part of Israel and the property value go up. Like, I'll be the one on the phone calling the cops. Oh, police, you better get down here. These two Jews just came into my store and I don't feel safe. You know, they be populating the prisons and stuff. I don't know, they all look alike. They wearing black hats with curly stuff down the side of their face. <laughs> it's 2,000 degrees, they got on black coats. That's robbery clothes. <laughs> Listen, man, you're asking a lot of questions. Just get down here. They look like Abraham Lincoln. Just get down. <laughs> and don't, 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 don't trip. I got a lot of Jewish homies. I got a lot of Jewish friends. Uh, Jewish people love to try to out slavery, black people. I'm gonna repeat that one more time. Jewish people love to try to out slavery black people. She's clapping, she knows, she knows what the deal is, you know. You know, they always like, you know, we were slaves first. I'm like, that ain't no contest I'd like to win. Who calls shotgun on slavery? There's no prize for this at the end of the year. There's no award show. You know, it's like, and the winner for the race who suffered the most. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, they did it again, 2,000 years in a row. <laughs> Let's give it up for the Jews. Yes. <laughs> uh, I can't believe we won again. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, the Egyptians. <laughs> Without them, all this wouldn't be possible. Uh, I'd like to thank Rosh Hashanah for holding it down uh, while I was locked up. Uh, <laughs> I got a friend that sleepwalks. Now, that's a big problem, you know, because he can't stop sleepwalking. I remember he jogged 10 miles in his sleep. That's the craziest thing he ever did, jogged 10 miles in his sleep. Imagine going to sleep to get some rest <laughs> and then waking up more tired than when you went to sleep. Now he doesn't want to sleep. I said, hey man, it's late. You're not going to get some rest? He's like, forget that. I'm going to stay up and get some rest. Forget sleep. Forget sleep. <laughs> and then when he jogged the 10 miles, he hit me up 4 in the morning to help him out. He's like, listen man, I just jogged 10 miles in my sleep. Could you come get me? I was like, man, I was knocked out. Uh, why don't you just fall asleep and jog home? <laughs> <laughs> Just lay down in the direction you was coming from. <laughs> Click. <laughs> he hit me back two hours later. Listen, man, I am 20 miles from home. Please. Please don't let me fall asleep again, man. 
I almost sleep swam. <laughs> so I said, let me help him out. I was watching this episode of Oprah. Well, I'm the only one that ever watched Oprah. This is preposterous. This was an old episode. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw this episode when uh, she had a, it was about sleepwalking and she had this couple on and a husband sleepwalks and he beats his wife in his sleep. I'm not making this up. And don't leave me when I explain the episode. Don't. So they filmed them sleeping the night before the episode. So they showed it on the show. They're sleeping. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. He's sleepwalking. He's sleepwalking. And she never presses charges. And I was like, damn, this dude is a genius. <laughs> He has discovered the loophole to domestic abuse. <laughs> All right, listen, that's my time. My name is Ian Edwards. This is a... Ian Edwards, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I haven't uh, seen Instagram today. Uh, does anybody know if the sunset? I went there. I was at the, I go to the airport and I told the guy, I was like, hey, I'm going to Honduras. And the guy was like, what city? And I was like, I'm just learning right now that's not the name of the city. So 